VIPs, DRSers, how are we feeling from 500 burpees? Man, this is pre-recorded, so I can't tell you how I'm feeling yet because I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do it tomorrow, today's Thursday, so. VIPs, I just finished the 500 burpees. I did not test that one until now. We must be super grateful and thankful that we push our bodies to extremes like this. And you know, sometimes the programming is for certain specific fitness goals, capacity, strength. And sometimes the program just calls for a straight up freaking killer workout just to know that you finished and you were able to do it when it was a little impossible to think about. But then now you could tackle other things in life, our work, the relationship with everything that's going on. Being able to know that you did this kind of thing allows you to do some other stuff. I was talking to my one of my favorite people, Dr. O, shout out. And we think of the same thing. It's like you're able to do certain things, you'll be able to apply it to other things. I have brain water right now, so I'm slurring a little bit. And you just get into this autopilot. But it wouldn't be without all of you guys that I would push to finish. You guys inspire me. You guys are awesome. Thank you for sticking with us. Thank you for hanging in there together. DR is strong. DR is at home. Let's go. Yeah, I've got to pre record to get you all the content needed for today, which is actually Saturday when you'll be watching this. It kind of blows my mind when I do this sometimes. All right. So, because you might be feeling a little bit up in different ways, right? I mean, it's high volume tasks that you didn't even think were possible, but those that did it, and I will do it, I will do it tomorrow. And those that did it, you will need some stretching and to counter some of the burpees, like low back, you know, chest, things like that. So this is what we're gonna do for this Saturday. Instead of the Zoom class, we'll be celebrating a wedding. We'll be celebrating love for Corey and Craig. Woo woo! Pay attention, this is what we got. For a warm up, you're gonna be stretching for about 10 minutes. All right, I'm gonna be doing a video on what you should be stretching. If you want any other stretching, go ahead and take longer than 10 minutes. This is your Saturday, you have the time, go for it. Recover as needed. Then you're gonna go and jog half a mile. If you feel pretty good, do a mile. But if you did the burpees, please listen to me and don't go for longer than a mile run. You need your calves to recover, you need your joints to recover. It's all about balance. There is a purpose behind programming, I promise. Then we're gonna counter out the burpees by doing some strength work. The strength work is going to be doable, challenging, and nothing crazy that you're gonna be grinding through too much. Remember, you're not depleting your tank here. You already did that by doing the 500 burpees yesterday. This is the end of week five. So your body has accumulated a lot of, a lot of volume, a lot of reps and a lot of things. So we must be smart, especially if you're doing the programs on top of this, like weightlifting and other stuff. They're gonna be four by eight, so four sets of eight back squats. You might, you know, clean it, make it go overhead, then go into your back and do the back squats. Same with the four sets of eight dead lifts. You could do that with your barbell if you have it, with your dumbbell, with your kettlebells, or anything that you do have, maybe an odd object. I will explain that in a little bit with my videos. Rest is needed. Remember, this is just some recovery, some strength to counter. That's burpees! I'm gonna also do a little video after I'm done with my burpees because I'm gonna see how I'm feeling, but this is pretty much what it's gonna be helpful for post burpees. All right, so check out the demos now. Back squat, since we don't have a rig, some of you guys might have a rig, great, but if you don't, let's power clean it, right? Bring it up and over, controlled, into this position. Remember, my elbows don't wanna be flared out like this, right, because it's going into your neck, and you don't wanna be in either, because then you're now doing like a front squat behind the back, we don't want that. We want it here, we want your elbows to be squeezed towards your ribs so from the back it's going to look like this not like this not like this but like this all right so you're going to be doing your back squats and trying to keeping your chest up 
fully extended at the top. Take your time with this. These are recovery strength sessions. This is not for you to get really heavy and just try to be strong within a day. You don't want that. It's a recovery strength session. On the deadlifts, guys, remember we always want our lats and back to be priority. Our back is our backbone. It's gonna be priority. So when I am setting up for my deadlifts, my back should be straight and my neck should follow that position. So if my neck and my spine are combined, I don't wanna crank here nor I want to look down too much. I want it to be one neutral spine. Lats are going to be on. I drive through my legs. I finish at the top. This is really important. Shoulders roll back. Okay, you're not doing this. You're just rolling back. I see a lot of this. We don't want that. Okay, shoulders back, booty tight without hyperextending on our deadlifts. And that's going to be a recovery session for the deadlifts. Hi right, guys, we're down here on our turf. Don't you miss it? I miss it too. So check it out, our stretching for today, we're really gonna wanna stretch this because of all the burpees and doing this and a lot of us doing this right on the burpees. So our low back might be a little bit tight, our quads, our triceps. So remember our eagle position here, we're gonna keep one arm down the other arm up and over, and we're gonna stretch that out. You wanna push as far as is comfortable without killing your shoulder. Remember, on this position, you are here. You're not here because look what it's gonna do. You see that? We wanna have them higher so our shoulder is back, and when I stretch, it doesn't collapse. You don't want this collapse. You want it to open up. Spend about two minutes on each arm here because you're really gonna need it. And then we're gonna open up our hips and quads with the quads and our couch stretch. Let's go. All right, you're gonna find a couch or a wall and we're gonna put one leg up, the other leg here. And remember, the closer this knee is to the wall, the more stretch I'm gonna feel and the harder it's going to be. So start a little bit farther out and make sure I'm able to bring my hips in and I'm able to be upright. If I start going like this, you're too far in. You're just not ready for that position yet. But if this is fine, then let's bring it all the way in if you can and squeeze your butt towards your heel, reach up and try and have that position. Your quads are gonna benefit, your hips, everything's gonna be firing, but also releasing. Again, if I have to do this, it's too far in, come out if you need to. This leg is not gonna be on a tight rope, it's gonna be outside of this knee. So remember to keep that knee straight, reach up, squeeze. Spend another two minutes there. It's really needed. You could do this literally every day. Hey guys, and the last stretch that we're going to be working on is gonna be a hurdle stretch. A hurdle stretch is one of my favorites because I had to do it a lot and it gave me really good flexibility when I was doing track in college. So I'm gonna bring this leg out, okay? And I want you to see this knee. This knee is pretty much 90 degrees to this front leg. If you're able to, you don't want this position. You want this to be open and you want your heel to be by your butt. Now, once I'm there, then I can really stretch it and try to find myself going closer to my kneecap and towards my toe. This is the position of a hurdler, so that's why it's called a hurdle stretch. Now this will be one stretch, this will be the other stretch. I don't want you to try to be adventurous and try to lay down and do this, even though you can, because you're just putting yourself in a position of not the safest for a certain joint. I'd rather you have a good position here, even if you're not there just yet, okay, let's say you're here, you still are gonna be working the hamstring, the hips, the quad, the hip joint, and everything else. Okay, so this is how it would look if I was facing you. 90 degrees, this heel is gonna be towards my butt. Oh, I, that's not poop, I promise. And I'm gonna now lean towards my, dome towards my knee, 
reach and have that position. Also, I can go back to find that. Hurdle stretch. Let's go.